Good afternoon and welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name is Dominic and today is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. Let's start the show with a look at the current and upcoming weather with our meteorologist, Robert and Noah. Hello, Yorktown. I'm your student meteorologist, Robert, and this is your midday weather report for October 22nd, 2024. It's right around 1 p.m., as you can see from the parking lot behind me. We're currently experiencing a bright blue sky with no clouds, and it seems like a perfect day to go outside and go for a walk. Tonight and leading into early morning, we expect to see temperatures will cool down to 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. In the morning, the temperature will be 56 degrees, but at 10 in the morning, it, it will warm up with the temperature being 61 degrees. As always, have yourself a wonderful day, and now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for the update, guys. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Anthony, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. I tell you a construction joke, but I'm still working on it. How does Darth Vader like his toast? On the dark side. Join us again for some more jokes, and until then, let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, Anthony. Now for all the word lovers out there, we present you the word of the day. I'm trying to look at... Hi, my name is Clara. And welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary. The word of the day. Today's word is groundless. Groundless is an adjective. Groundless can be defined as without any good reason or cause. Unjustified. Baseless and unsupported are synonyms for groundless. In a sentence, groundless can be used like this. Kate has a groundless fear of hurting herself during exercises. Groundless. Can you use it today? Yeah. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Oliver and Abby with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Oliver, and today's true or false topic is birds. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. True or false. Penguins can fly. False. Penguins are unable to fly. True or false. Some birds can mimic humans. True. True or false. There are about 10,000 species of bird. True. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now from the creative minds of Anthony, it's today's stop motion titled Food Kingdom. While at Strang Middle School, out in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In the spirit of this, we want to explore the following. What sport would you play and why? Let's see what some students say at MASMS. If I were to pick a sport to play for the next five years, I would pick baseball because that's the sport I'm best at and it's really fun for me. I would play basketball because it's just a really good sport in my opinion and I like the way that um just played. I'd play football for my one sport for five years because I like tackling people and I like when I play on the line because I'm a starting right guard. I'd probably do dance, but like it's not that much of a sport. It's more of an art. Okay, I'd probably do cheerleading because I love it. I would play softball because I think it's like really like it helps you like with teamwork and like it also helps with like communicating with like people. So then, yeah, I'd do jujitsu for five years because. I really like jujitsu and I like wrestling my friends and it's just my passion. So I really like it and I enjoy having it. I spend a lot of time with my friends and we work out and we learn a lot of new things and I just follow it and I really like it. Dance because I love to do dance. I like soccer because Ronaldo. <laughs> Soccer because it's fun. Um, there's a lot of good players out there who I want to be like when I grow up, and <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I would pick ice skating because you can play indoors or outdoors, and there are 
like so many different types of ice skating you can do and um there are so many different cool tricks you can do and and i just love playing it and i love winter sports so we were wondering how could you be safe in the hallway let's see what kids in the hall had to say the day-to-day -day responsibilities of students at MESMS is you have to be able to handle the different responsibilities of doing your homework and still abling, abling her, yourself to be able to do the activities you love in sports. For example, I play lacrosse, so I have to handle going to lacrosse practice and do my homework so I'm able to balance my life out. The day-to-day -day responsibilities of a student at MESCM is like to make sure like you're getting to class on time and like making sure you have the materials of what you need. Like if say like the teachers well sometimes let you go back but you always have to bring like a pencil and whatever you need for the class. So like yeah I'm done. The day-to-day -day responsibilities of a student at MESMS are to always be prepared and have your materials at class and try not to leave to go to the bathroom so you don't miss a lot of class time. The day-to-day -day responsibilities for a sixth grader student is to going on to your classes. The day-to-day -day responsibilities of a student at MESMS is to, is to not waste time when you're in the bathroom and actually go to the bathroom and come back in less than two minutes. What are the day what are the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a student at MESMS? Well, I think it's like to like getting like to like your classes on time, doing your homework, you know, like all those stuff. Responsibilities of a student at MESMS is to get your stuff ready for your next period before the bell rings. Um, what are the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a student at MESMS? What I think is um not to talk to your friends while the teacher's talking and like be respectful of your teachers? What I think are the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a student of MEMS is that they should always pay attention to their teacher and not fidget around and just pay attention. Great job kids. Now let's go to Jackson and Victoria with today's in history. Hello, my name is Tori and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place throughout recorded history on the date 700 BC. On this date, in the year 700 BC, the Great Wall of China was starting to be built. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on China. You can buy green bean flavored ice pops in China. In ancient China, soldiers sometimes wore armor made from paper. That's a look back in history for the date 700 BC. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Now let's take it to the core extras.
Hi guys, myself, Anthony, and Oliver will be playing a game called Bounce Ball. Here's how to play. First, it's a big table and you're trying to bounce the ball once, twice, three times, four times, etc. How to win is when the other person fails on their attempt and you win. Let's see how you do it. Zero bounces. Now, we'll do one bounce. That was so good. After further review, Anthony's ball did not bounce five times, which means Oliver wins. Hi, my name is Hayden Acosta, and this is the fit check of the day. Okay, first, my shoes are from Ugg, and then my leggings are from Lululemon. This is from Denny's, and then my shirt is from Denny's, and then my necklace. From Kendra Scott, my earrings are from Kendra Scott. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Artia and May with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon. My name is Artia, and today's lesson is from math class. Today in math class, we are learning about dividing fractions. The way you divide fractions is by using KCF, as shown. This stands for keep, change, flip. Another way is the butterfly way, as shown. Now let's take it back to the studio. We want to thank everyone who contributed to today's show. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next episode. Until then, stay safe, responsible, and respectful. Have a great day.